quero. Well, everybody, good late afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Srinath, the Master of Ceremonies for Three Minute Thesis of ICBI 2022. Of course, it's my pleasant duty to bid you all a cheerful welcome to the 3MT final round. The preliminary round of 3MT was held during October. And I must mention, that the panel of judges, including Dr. Jennifer Sun, the lecturer of uh, Queensland University, Australia, and Dr. Sere Veda, the research fellow of Griffith University, Australia, were exceedingly accommodating for the success of the preliminary round. 12 contestants were participated, out of which four were selected for the finals, and those will be competing for the glory today. To contextualize the TMT, let me introduce you to its background. The 3MT is an annual competition held in universities worldwide, and it was originated at the Queensland University in 2008. 3MT is open to PhD students and challenges the participants to voice their research in just three minutes in an engaging form that can be understood by an intelligent audience with no background in the academic area. So this exercise develops presentation, research and academic communication skills, and supports the development of the research students' capacity to explain their work effectively. Well, with that preamble, let me move on to the very uh, fruitful uh, resource that we have today, that of the panel of judges. We have... Uh, Dr. Maria Maria, first of all, uh, I must say that she has been very helpful for us and instrumental over the years of ICBI platform. Uh, she's a lecturer at the Center for Territory Teaching and Learning at the University of Waikato, New Zealand, who engages in the development of English language resources to help improve language learning for the diverse students' needs. Mariam also teaches digital learning and sup supervises postgraduate students. She has recently been involved in conducting research seminars, workshops, and writing retreats for students. Second up on the line, we have Dr. Elena, who also been very instrumental over the years of the 3MT model of ICBI. Uh, Dr. Elena is a passionate, and a dedicated educator over 25 years of experience in designing and teaching educational courses and programs of TESOL, educational psychology and academic language and learning for undergraduate and postgraduate students in Australia and overseas. She's now a senior policy officer and a project lead in the Department of Education and Training, Victoria, Australia. Prior to this, Dr. Elena has worked as an associate director, learning and academic skills center of uh, Swinburne University of Technology. Third, we have uh, Dr. Subona Barua, who has been instrumental uh, for the ICBI this time. Thank you so much for you, doctor, uh, who holds a blended experience of teaching courses in economics and finance at 
both uh, local and foreign universities, delivering professional training on financial modeling, financial markets, financial management and project management, and working in, in cross-border research projects funded by institutions such as the World Bank, UNDP and DFID, and Plan Bangladesh. He has worked, he has a long track of servicing in financial and management consultant, consultant of course, beg your pardon, an advisory role at over 10 local and multinational corporations. So, um, and also Dr. Subona's publication portfolio includes books, book chapters, and over 30 research articles published in high impact factor journals. And he has presented a more than 12 international conferences. Uh, Dr. Subona is a managing director currently of the Journal of Financial Markets and Governments, Governance, and Academic Advi Editor for PLOS Climate. So those were the uh, uh, very resourceful uh, panel of judges, of course, we have to, for today for, to uh, judge the 3MT finals. So we all set to go. So next up in the line is the 3MT orations of the finals. But before we dive in, let me very broadly set uh, the judging criteria that of the comprehension, content, and engagement. Well, let's move on to the competitors. Let me present the first contestant of the day, who is Venura Jaisingha from University of Kalnia, Sri Lanka. His origin is on understanding the customer through systems, the real salesperson. His work is being supervised by Professor Nalin Abhisekar. So uh, Mr. Venru, the podium and the stage is over to you. Let me tell you two scenarios of a known story. Imagine you forget your husband's wife's fiance's birthday. And I don't tell that they will leave you just for that. Secondly, surprising them with a gift, what they had in mind. If you knew it, you get lucky. And it's all about knowing and remembering them. It will help you to take the attachment and show the care about what you have. And it will be the same for the customer relationship. And more you know, you get more opportunities to delight them. And the connected customer will stay with the brand, with the product for a longer time. They will use it for their lifetime and maybe for their children's requirements. But the question is how to get this knowledge? Back in the days, in the brick and mortar retail stores, we had the salesperson. They had the opportunity to look into the customer's ears, eyes, and smell the perfume see what you're wearing, and the brand of the handbag, enormous number of touch points. But today, the sale doesn't happen like that. It might be on a virtual platform, maybe on a sales application, and sometimes on social media. Because of that, I don't know my customers over here or somewhere at the Timbuktu. And that is where this automated customer relationship management systems come into picture, which is known as CRM, which is a tech solution. And with that, but analyzing customer's behavior and it will analyze actions, transactions, engagements, social media mentions sometimes, it will understand the customer's likes and dislikes. And today, big and small, every company want to have a uh, CRM installed in their premises. But the CRM solutions have not given the expected results back to the companies. It has fallen short. There's a disappointment in the market. And that is where our research is coming to place. I have come up with a model that it will be looking at what are the 
criteria and what will be the essential items and how CRM can provide the support for organizations, how it would be supporting these organizations. And it will monitor and it will see what the features of the CRM and the knowledge and how to manage it. And with that, it will support the customer or the organization to enhance their I can't see the time. Excellent, Venera. So uh, the second contestant of the day is Mr. Prasanna Ari Ratna from University of Kalnia. His origin is for, on a farmer's readiness for organic adaptation for sustainable agriculture. So he will be coming on the Zoom. Um, so we will be seeing his uh, 3MT pitch over the Zoom. So his work is being supervised by Dr. Madhurika Nanayakara and Dr. Esi Tushara. Uh, give me a second, sir. Let me put my virtual background for this one. Uh, sorry about it. Yes, Mr. Prasanna. Uh, okay. Can, uh, can, I, can, can I start now, sir? Yes, you can start <clears throat> right now. Greetings and welcome to my presentation, esteemed guests. So if I say Sri Lankan rice farmers managed to self-feed this nation over decades, you have to agree with me because it's a fact. However, the flip side of this fact is the farmers have achieved this massive target at the expense of intense chemical fertilizer use in their farming at their whims and fancies. You might know the intense chemical fertilizer use in farming causes environmental and social effects, and at the same time, degrading the nutrient value of the production. So United Nations FAO defines more sustainable agriculture in terms of economical, environmental, and social friendliness. Sri Lankan government also took a policy decision to transit the cultivation into 100% organic. However, it was a failure. It created a massive fertilizer scarcity in the sector. Later on, government reversed the decision, but the ongoing economic crisis, unfortunately, has taken the crisis into another level. The farmers are stunned. They're not going to have ample amount of free fertilizer around them in the near future. So the pro production rate is declining and rice cultivation is at risk at the moment. The food security need of the country is also at risk at the moment. The, the situation has impacted very badly for the rural economy as well. The institutions are silent. Apparently they are not speaking to the farmers to find a way forward. So I'm speaking to farmers. So I'm looking at whether Sri Lankan rice farmers can continue with cultivation with this present condition. Do they have potential to continue with cultivation more environmental, economical, social friendly manner? And are there farmers who can seamlessly move into organic farming? Farmers who are very much connected to these chemical fertilizers, are they ready to move into organics? And what about the support they get from government? Are they effective on ground? Can they can farmers utilize those support and move into farm the organics? So these are unknowns. So I'm going to find out these unknowns. So you will agree with me. My research outcome will provide an avenue 
to narrow the communication and information gap between rural farm field and the decision making officers. So this research finding is time critical and very important for future decision making of Sri Lankan rice farming in terms of policy alignment and strategic formation. Thank you very much for listening to me. Excellent, uh, Mr. Prasanna, thank you so much. All right, so now let's move on to the third contestant of the day. That is uh, Mr. Dinesh Suranga Patirana from University of Kalnia. His oration is on uh, impact of brand tribalized tribalism on behavioral intention of community members in Sri Lankan electrical material sector. So his work is being supervised by Professor DMR Disanayake and Professor Nalin Abhisekar. Over to you. Imagine branding is expenditure or an investment. How many brand managers and marketing managers invest on their brand in order to achieve their branding objectives, which is significant amount of money when compared with the other activities. But how many of them measure the market return on investment when they invest? This is the problem what I identified. In my doctoral work is measuring the impact of brand tribalism, which brings individuals together to achieve common conviction among the brand admirers. So here you can see most of the brand lovers use that brand and sometimes they wear it because they all are working as evangelists or diehard brand lovers. When it comes to Sri Lankan building material sector, they have initiated their brand tribes in order to develop their brand as a strategy. So my doctoral work is working with the electricians who are representing with the industry which is very much significant. They contribute like 8% to the national GDP when compared with the other industries. And not only that, finally, I will provide the measurement criteria to measure the impact of brand tribalism on behavioral intention in Sri Lankan building material sector, which is very much significant when compared with the other factors. Why? Because this is uh, contributing like 8% to the national GDP as an industry. And not only that, finally, I will provide the measurement criteria to other industries as well, such as other industry like masons clubs, electricians clubs, and uh, the tilers clubs. Those are very much uh, skillful labors, which is uh, contribute to the national GDP, as well as that skill labor hub for the industry. So this is very much important when compared with the other factors to uplift up the industry. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you so much. So we have uh, the final contestant of the day, who is uh, Ms. Petmi Omalka de Silva from Postgraduate Institute of Management, University of Sri Javadurpur. Horation would be on the paradoxes of collusion. Her work is being supervised by Dr. Madhurika Nanaikara. Over to you, madam. Can you see a small child whose legs and arms are tied to a rail track? And five road thirst, whose legs and arms are tied to the separate rail track. You can see train is coming from the common rail track and you have the lever to divert the train to this track or this track. Which track would you select? The paradox in your mind will create the tension the tension that will lead you towards a prompt behavior. That's all about 
paradoxical tension theory. The tension will direct you towards the behavior. There is no difference in collusion. When it's come to colluders, they encounter day to day paradoxes. When it's come to this environment, this today's multiple nature, dynamic, very complex, rural environment, it creates number of paradoxes. Paradox of being in the network, paradox of being in the gaining the uh, acceptance, paradox of uh, gaining the acceptance and building the identity, group identity, paradox of toxic leadership, paradox of being in the group, paradox of achieving personal goals versus group goals, paradox of sharing group resources, including the knowledge. All these paradoxes will direct you towards a decision making. And ultimately, you will end up by selecting the dark side of the paradox. We all have witnessed the financial fraud collusion from the giant corporate giant failure in run to today's most recent bond scam in Sri Lanka. What made fraud run rampant is lack of understanding these paradoxical behavior hindered in the collusion paradoxical psychology and paradoxical behavior we have to capitalize on we have to understand psychology and behavior not to promote an apt defense but to develop a solid for deterrence framework that will go with the grounded, the root cause. Now, decision is yours. Which rail track would you select? You, would you select the learning from paradoxes and go beyond that, or be silent and be the part of the fraud? Decision is yours. Well, everyone, you might have noticed that the first contestant uh, had a technical difficulty on the stage to allow the fair distribution to everyone. So the organizers allowing him to present again. So we would be asking uh, Mr. Venrajai Singh her onto the stage again to present on the understanding customer through systems, the real salesperson. Over to you. Thank you. Let me tell you two scenarios of a known story. Imagine you forget your husband's wife's fiance's birthday. And I don't think that they will leave you just for that. But you and I know the consequences. Secondly, surprising them is a gift. What they had in mind for a long time. If you knew it, you get lucky. And it's all about the knowledge and the memorizing, and you can use it for showing the attachment, the care, and the love. It will be the same for customer management, customer engagement, and the customer relationship, which is a profound asset for a company. You know more better, and you get better opportunities, more opportunities to surprise and delight your customer. But the problem is, how do you know this customer? How to get the knowledge? And back in the days, we had the brick and mortar store. We had this salesperson. Look into your eyes, smelling your perfume and seeing what you're wearing, the brand of the handbag, enormous number of touch points. But today, the sale is happening in another, another dimension, maybe on the sales platform, sometimes social media. And with that, I don't know my customer is right next to me or in Timbuktu. So that is where this automated customer relationship management systems come into picture. And it will analyze your actions, mentions, reactions, transactions. With that, it will monitor, it will follow up the customer and understand the customer. And with that, the organization can make offer to the right customer at the right time and the right place to make a sales to happen. And today, big and small, every company is eyeing on getting a CRM solution, but it has not given the expected results. It has fallen short, it has failed. With that, 
where that is where my research is focused on. And I come up with the model to see that CRM, how it can support the organization to enhance the profits and the performances. And anybody would not see lacking profits, lacking margins in an organization. And I don't think everybody will agree on this stadium and a good meeting, don't you? And so far, my research has pilot study has come up with enormous, uh, wonderful results. It has shown that CRM can support the profitability and the high performances. And I'm pretty sure about my final findings as well. With that one, I'm gonna come up with a catalog with the CRM features and how to use it as a like a real salesperson sitting in your organization. With that, have you had any ambiguity of investing on the CRM? It will be wiped out. Thank you. All right. So those were the competitors that we have for the finals of 3MT ICBI 2022. So well, everyone, um, choosing an oration, which is appealing to the audience, is also in terms of the People's Choice Award, is the option that the 3M2 model has offered to the audience to engage with. So now we are displaying a, a link on the screen for everybody to who have joined on the Zoom as well as for the people on the site to go on the link and uh, select the most appealing contestant for you. The most appealing contest for you would be the, uh, the People's Choice Award. So in the meantime, I would take uh, Dr. Subona as well as all the judges to leave there in privacy to finalize the winners of the day.
All right, everyone. Sorry, pardon myself. It was a very hard decision, so it took some time to finalize everything. So uh, I would now like to move on to our judges uh, to raise their voices uh, to get an overall comment about all the competitors uh, that are the finalists of 3MT. So I would move on to uh, Dr. Mariam Maria. Dr. Mariam, uh, can you hear us? Yes, thank uh, you. Yeah, I, I, we would rather prefer hearing your overall comment about the 3MT finalists. Sure, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, first of all, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to be judges for this event. It was really a pleasure. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the participants. You did a great job and congratulations to all of you. And I would like to highlight um, your bravery for just for, um, I would say, compacting or just um, wrapping your research within three minutes, which is really a hard task. So you have all tried to achieve this by telling us your story about your topic within three minutes. So it's really good to hear you uh, describe your research and um, engage us um, in your research. So thank you so much for that. And you communicated and comprehended as much as you could and you we actually engaged with you and I'm sure the audience did as well. So thank you so much for that. So that's all I would say for now. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mariam. That was so thoughtful of you. So now I would move on to uh, Dr. Elena. Dr. Enela, Elena, pardon myself, what do you have to offer? Dr. Elena, I think you are muted. Um, we still can't hear you properly though. Until you fix yourself with the technical difficulty, I'll move on to uh, Dr. Subona. Dr. Subona, what do you have to offer? Yes. Come on. I think I will second with uh, Dr. Mariam. Uh, in fact, uh, when you do a PhD, you write a thesis of 400 papers, uh, 400 pages, and then use sum it down into only three minutes. It's really a difficult job. And I must congratulate everyone for having this bravery. And uh, everyone actually did well, and it was a tough call for us. So, uh, but anyone who doesn't win the race, uh, it's nothing to be frust get frustrated, just be positive. Um, and I have seen three minute competitions in Australia, how difficult it is. So it's always challenging. Uh, but I'm sure you'll be winning the next races coming up in the upcoming ICB, I say, I hope so. Uh, so thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Dr. Elena, do you still find the difficulty talking to us? Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Um, look, first of all, congratulations to every single contestant well done absolutely well done you, you you've done a great job great preparation and i know it took probably weeks if not months to prepare for this competition so excellent i have to say that every one of you is a winner now so regardless of the um of our opinion and sort of our choices please do consider every one of you as a winner and i was absolutely blown away with your enthusiasm that's what i would like to comment so that's that's really great your great attitude your enthusiasm that was sort of um was was really great to see and that what sort of stood out for me so please keep doing your phd with this great enthusiasm and um hopefully you you will be able to finish it um very soon good luck Thank you so much, Dr. Elena. I'm too endorsing uh, what you just shared. Well, everyone, now the high time comes 
to announce the winners of the day. So let me open uh, what I have received. So, all right. So let's move on to the People's Choice Award, first of all. You commented on the poll, and now we have the results. Um, okay. So the People's Choice Award goes to Petmi. Petmi, you've been chosen as the People's Choice. Come over here and receive the token. I would rather uh, invite uh, Dr. Subona to hand over the plaque to herself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now I would move on to uh, the first runner up out of the four finalists. Yes, the second runner up goes to Mr. Dinesh. Mr. Dinesh, you are the second runner up of today. For that, of course, I'm inviting Dr. Tishani. Secretary of uh, the ICBI 2022 to award himself. The first runners up goes to Mr. Prasanna, who joined with us over the Zoom. So Mr. Prasanna, you are the first runners up of 3MT ICBI 2022. Thank you so much for being with us. All right, now the very high time comes to announce the winner of the day. Who would you think that the winner of the competition would be? The winner of the competition of 3MT ICBI 2022 goes to Mr. Venura Jaisingha. For that, of course, I'm inviting Dr. Narada Fernando to award the token to him is the winner of the competition. All right, everyone, dear contestants, it's my honor to extend the felicitations to all the winners and for all the contestants. It's been great engaged in the process, sharing your research to a wider community. Well, with that, I'm about to sign off from my end, handing over the podium to the coordinator of 3MT ICBI 2022, Dr. Essie Tushara. And I must mention that he has been ex exceedingly accommodating and engaging with this process fruitfully. So over to you, sir, Dr. Tushara.
Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, Dr. Narada Fernando, Dean of the Faculty of Commerce and Management Studies, and all the heads of the departments, uh, Dr. Shamil, uh, Chair of the Conference, and co chairs, um, Secretary of the Conference, and the delegates from uh, Bangladesh, uh, Dhaka University, and the panel of judges, contestants, and all the participants uh, of the conference and the dear faculty. First and foremost, uh, we are grateful to all of the respectable panel of judges of the final contest and the panel of judges of the heats. Uh, I would like to extend hearty word of thanks for your dedication and skill when it came to judging the finalists of our 3MT contest. Without your knowledge and commitment, this contest would have not been gone as smoothly as it was. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Elena, Dr. Mariam, and Dr. Subona for volunteering your services, especially with your busy schedule. And despite the time differences, I know it's very late night in New Zealand and also in Melbourne in Australia. Uh, I'm sorry keep, to keep you awake in the late uh, midnight. Um, and once again, thank you for your dedication and cooperation in this uh, process. And I would like to uh, thank uh, Dr. Jennifer Sun from uh, University of Queensland and uh, Dr. Sarah Veda from uh, Griffith University, Australia uh, for helping us to select the uh, uh, finalist. Uh, thank you very much for your support in selecting the finalist. Uh, dear contestant, uh, it is my honor to extend the felicitation on behalf of the organizing committee of um, ICBI 2022 on my own behalf uh, to all the winners of the day and congratulations to everyone. Uh, but we all witnessed that it was very competitive and so for me, all the finalists were winners of the day, and it was very hard. I think there was uh, several participants for the uh, hits, and you made it to the final. That itself a great uh, win for everyone. I hope this experience uh, may shape your academic and professional lives. Uh, thank you for your engagement in the process. I would like to express my gratitude to all the participants of this uh, event and thank you for taking time to vote for your favorite contestant of the day. A very special thanks to Dr. Shamil, uh, chair of the conference, Dr. Tishani, the secretary of the conference for their support throughout this process. And I would like to uh, thank Dr. Uh, sorry, uh, Professor Naleta, DBA coordinator and former DBA coordinator, uh, Professor Patir Vasam, um, helping us to make this event a successful event. Finally, I would uh, I want to thank the team behind the success of this event, including uh, Dr. Srinath, uh, the master of the ceremonies, and also the committee member of the 3MT and Dr. Chaturi and Ms. Randika. And thank you and have a pleasant evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have almost reached the closing of the International Conference on Business and Information 2022. It has been an eventful and exciting day at ICBI 2022, sharing new factual knowledge and building arguments in the context of business. Starting the day with the inaugural ceremony, we had an informative and enlightening keynote by Professor Sean Kidney, followed by a technical forum 
on business resilience and climate change with the participation of renowned professionals from the industry. There were 71 technical paper presentations held at 12 locations under eight distinctive themes and also nine research paper presentations under the doctoral colloquium. The virtual 3MT competition we just witnessed was the most accelerating event at the ICBI 2022, where the participants challenged themselves to present their research work in three minutes time frame. An event of this caliber cannot happen overnight. There had been a lot of effort and time put in by academic paper authors, presenters, reviewers, and the organizing committee. Our next task is to recognize the best research papers and the outstanding reviewers of the ICBI 2022. Before awarding the best paper and the outstanding reviewers, I would like to cordially invite Dr. Kaushalya Yatigamana, Editor-in-Chief, ICBI 2022, on stage to explain the best paper and the outstanding reviewer selection criteria to the audience. Over to you, ma'am. Very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, the selection of best papers and outstanding reviewers was not an easy task because all the papers presented today are in good quality and all the reviews done by our experts are invaluable. However, to select the best among the best, we use certain criteria. First, I will present the criteria that we use to evaluate best papers. In this year also, all the papers are evaluated independently to nominate for the best paper award, irrespective of their presentation track. The best papers were evaluated under two main areas, as the quality of the paper and quality of the presentation. First, we have selected papers based on the comments review received under the double blind review process. Then they were evaluated under the originality, methodology, logic and reasoning, consistency with the contribution to the existing literature and quality of writing by the editorial board of ICBI. 80% of marks were allocated for the paper and to be nominated for the best paper award, the papers has to score minimum of 75 marks from the paper evaluation. Then the papers that scored more than 75% were evaluated today for the quality of oral presentation by the session chairs and panel of members based on the content, clarity and the timeliness of the presentation. The papers that scored more than 75% from both areas will be awarded for the best papers very shortly. Also, the papers sent by our key organizing members of the conference were removed from this uh, best paper awarding list. Before presenting the selection of criteria of outstanding review award, editorial board of ICBI 2022, is grateful to those who reviewed papers for publication in ICBI conference proceedings. The Outstanding Reviewer Award is an initiative of the editorial board of ICBI 2019 to recognize the great contribution and dedication of our reviewers. The recipients, and the select, the recipients are selected based on criteria including the quality of the review and meeting the deadline of the reviews. So we strictly adhere to the criteria of online on-time submission of these reviews. So we have we had to remove uh, some good reviews, even though, because they have not met the uh, timeliness of the review. The selection panel has considered the indicators of provide a review that is thoughtful, uh, thoughtful and complete. Provide the critiques, comments constructively and objectively provide an advisory recommendation to the editing chief so as to the suitability of a manuscript for the publication, 
provide the author with comments that will ultimately improve the scientific quality of the manuscript and providing it the best chance of publication in a peer reviewed journal, provide comments that are specific to the manuscript being reviewed and the timeliness of the review. The selection panel consists with the Editor-in-Chief of ICBI, uh, Chair and the Secretary of the Conference, and the editorial board members who are not in the list of reviews. And also I have to note that even though we reviewed papers, uh, we excluded ourselves from the reviewing list. With that note, I would like to conclude my explanation of award selection. And on behalf of the editorial board of ICBI in 2022, I would like to congratulate all the recipients of the best paper award and outstanding reviewer awards today. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you, Dr. Kaushalya. This is to inform you that this time around, there will be an opportunity for 50 research papers to be published in the Social Science Research Network, that is SSRN platform, hosted by Elsevier. Meanwhile, other papers are open to being published in the university journals after revisiting the selection guidelines of the respective journals. Further, if there are best papers selected from the authors, those who have joined online, the best paper certificates will be delivered to you via post. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we are now going to present the best research paper awards and the outstanding reviewer awards. Now, I have the pleasure of inviting Dr. P. N. D. Fernando, guest of honor, ICBI 2022, Dean, Faculty of Commerce and Management Studies, accompanied by Dr. M. M. Shamil, Conference Chair, ICBI 2022, to present the best research paper and outstanding reviewer awards. We are pleased to announce that we have five best research paper awards this evening. The first best research paper award goes to Paper ID 107, research titled Analyzing Fintech Equity Funding Flows and Fintech Deals Globally. Authored by Hugh Golder, S. Barua. The next best research paper award goes to Paper ID 105, research titled Towards Sustainable Consumption Behavior in Sri Lanka An Environmental Perspective Authored by G.H. Hensman The third best research paper award goes to Paper ID number 5, research titled Exploring Drivers to Adopt Ecosystem-Based Livelihood Diversification, Experience from Women in Agri-Based Economy in Sri Lanka. Authored by V. Sachitra K. Hetiarachi. The next Best Research Paper Award goes to Paper ID 112, research titled Importance of Utilizing Big Data Analytics in Enhancing Construction Data Management. Authored by Vatuheva RM, Vaidyasekara KGAS, and Dilakshan R. The final Best Research Paper Award goes to Paper ID 116, research titled Factors Affecting the Adoption of Augmented Reality Technology as a Marketing Strategy in the Fashion Retailing Sector of Sri Lanka. Authored by Vikramaratna RM. Gunaratna DWA, Vimalasiri RKHS.
We are pleased to announce the following Outstanding Reviewers Awards. The first Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Dr. K. G. M. Narayakara. The next Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Dr. J. M. R. Fernando. The next Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Dr. R. A. I. C. Karunaratna. The next outstanding reviewer award goes to Dr. D. M. N. S. W. Disanayaka. The next Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Miss K. D. G. N. Vijay Singha. The next Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Miss Chamari Jayaratna. The next Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Miss V. M. Gunasekara. The final Outstanding Reviewer Award goes to Ms. Rushna Prina. Thank you, sir. We would like to congratulate all the Best Paper Award and the Outstanding Reviewer Award recipients on your outstanding performance and wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. As all good things must come to an end, now we have reached the end of the 13th International Conference on Business and Information 2022. To make the concluding remarks of the ICBI 2022, I warmly welcome Dr. Saroja Vanigasekara, co-chair of the ICBI 2022 on stage. Over to you, ma'am. Good evening to you all. Uh, we have came to end of the uh, 13th International of Interna International Conference of Business and Information 2022. 2022. Along with the con main conference, we completed number of events yesterday and today, including a, a youth summit, doctoral colloquium, technical forum, and 3MT. All of these events were aligned with timely themes. I believe we had a successful conference with all these events and we all, as a faculty, we all dedicated to the success of the 13th International Conference of Business and Information 2022. So with the memories of the successful conference on behalf of the ICBI 2022 committee, I officially conclude 13th International Conference of Business and Information 2022. Thank you all and see you all on 2023. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Saroja. However, before we wrap up the conference today, let us capture this beautiful moment that will remain with us forever. 
So I kindly request all of you to wait for a short while at the end of the conference to take the official photograph to continue the university tradition. Also, without taking much of your valuable time, let me brief you on the conference tour 2022. After two long years of waiting, this time the organizing committee has planned the conference tour to the ancient city of Sigiriya. As you all know, the date of the tour is 19th November 2022, which is tomorrow. So we kindly request all of you to reach the university premises on time as we are planning to depart the university by 5 a.m. So we cordially invite all of you to participate and make memories for a lifetime. Finally, we hope to see you all again at 14th International Conference on Business and Information in 2023. Have a good night and stay safe. Thank you.